everybody, it's Rebecca Virginia, and today I'm bringing you another brand new Valentine's Day DIY video for 2023. Let's jump right into the first DIY. We are going to be making a love sign. I use this as the door hanger on my front door, but you could also use it as decor just around your house. To start off, I found two of these wood signs from the Dollar Tree. I loved this white one. It was already in the faux shiplap material, but unfortunately it was pretty tiny, so I ended up going with this larger sign. It also had the love with the arrow going through it, so I did peel that off because I wanted to use it. And then I went back to the faux shiplap white heart. And again, I was so bummed because it was just way too tiny and it looked kind of silly on my front door. But if you are using it as decor, I think it's a good idea. However, it was the perfect size to trace. I wanted to have a burlap heart. So I just laid down the faux shiplap heart and went ahead and traced that out using a little bit of chalk on some burlap fabric that I had. And then I just cut out the heart I did pull a little bit at the sides and all around the heart because I wanted this to be very farmhouse and distressed looking. So I am kind of pulling at some of the threads to give it a little bit more of that weathered look. I then went back over to our larger heart sign and I flipped it over so I was working with the plain surface and I covered it with some white paint. This one in particular is the white paint from Waverly in the chalk paint. I also wanted to distress it just a little bit. The burlap will be covering a lot of it, but I did go in with a dark brown paint and a little bit of a stippling brush to just create some darker brush strokes. Then I went ahead and hot glued down our burlap heart into the center of our sign. I really liked the love sign, so I am gonna be repurposing that. But before I went to that, I knew that I wanted to do a bead hanger and I wanted to alternate a natural wood bead with a white bead. Usually I just put my wood beads in a plastic bag with a little bit of paint and kind of roll them around, but I was out of plastic bags. So I kind of did the same thing by just putting on a plastic glove and painting half of my beads white. Then once I was done, kind of, <laughs> finger painting all of them. I put them to the side to dry and went ahead and hot glued on my galvanized love sign. I also made an expo and in a later DIY, I will detail it a little bit more. I did this one and then I did another expo. So I will show you that in just a little bit. Then I strung together the wood beads, the natural and the white, alternating them so I could have that as my hanger for this sign. The next DIY was so much fun to make. They kind of remind me of heart lollipops. I took a bunch of fabric, some that I had and some that I found in some unlikely places at the Dollar Tree and created these hearts to go into one of my thrift flips that I made last year. So to start off, you are going to need some different types of fabric. I couldn't find any Valentine's Day themed fabric at my Dollar Tree, but I did find these Valentine's Day bags. So I'm going to be using these. One just has the red heart on it. And then the other one has a bunch of little pink hearts all over it. So I cut out, you'll need two of each, one to be the front and one to be the back because we will be making essentially little heart pillows out of them. So that is what I did. And then just like I did with the bags, I also cut out some hearts out of some muslin fabric that I had and painted on some red stripes. So to create the heart pillows, you are going to take the back part of your heart and just go all the way around with some hot glue. And I started off by just putting the hot glue on the upper half and then placing it down the fabric. I also really tried to push outwards so that the hot glue didn't seep inwards and, you know, kind of lose that heart shape. So that is just a little tip. And then I went in with some filling. I got this from Joann's. I got a giant bag of it. So I just keep reusing this but you could also just put in little pieces of paper or I don't know anything that you kind of have around your craft room maybe some scrap fabric pieces and I essentially just stuffed my little heart pillow and then using one of the bamboo skewers of course also from the Dollar Tree I just placed that down in the center of the heart and that is going to be what we use to kind of skewer it into my thrift flip. 
If you wanted to really take this a step further, you could always sew the hearts and make your little heart pillows and then hot glue the bamboo skewer onto it. But I know not everyone is a sewer, but most everyone has a hot glue gun. So I thought this way would be a little bit easier. I am again just repeating all of the previous steps, hot gluing about half of the heart and then pushing them together. Again, remembering to kind of push the glue to the outside so it doesn't seep too far into the heart and ruin the shape. Then I stuffed it with a little bit of filler and placed in the bamboo skewer. You are gonna wanna add a little bit more hot glue where the bamboo skewer goes in just to make sure that everything stays in place. This Farm Fresh jar is actually a thrift flip that I made. Um, I think it was last year that I made it. It was a really great find at my local thrift store. I'll have that linked above if you wanna check out that video. And then this part was really easy. I am just cutting down the bamboo skewers to different lengths and then placing them inside of my jar. I did add a little bit more floral film just to make sure that everything stayed in place. And then the final touch was adding a little bit of Spanish moss to the top to cover up any of that floral foam. I've seen pretty similar heart pillows on Etsy and they can get pretty pricey. So I was really happy that I was able to create a similar DIY using all Dollar Tree products. The next DIY, keeping with that farmhouse theme, I had to do something with a wood palette. And I love using different types of keys for Valentine's Day DIYs. I think it's a nice vintage touch. So I decided to combine both of those elements into this simple DIY. So I'm grabbing one of the wood palettes from the Dollar Tree and my Antique Stain by Waverly. And soaking the antique stain in a wet paper towel and then applying it all over the wood palette. I did let this dry and then I went in with a second coat just to make a nice darker wood stain. The Dollar Tree also has different types of wood laser cutouts. The one that I am using is a set of keys. So I did take one of the keys and then some silver paint by Folk Art, and I painted my key silver and then dirtied it up just a tiny bit with some of the stain. To cover one of my wood hearts that I got from You'll See That Long Welcome sign, I didn't have any fabric or any scrapbooking paper that was kind of Valentine's Day themed, and I really wanted to use a gingham pattern. So I ended up just grabbing some of my Dollar Tree ribbon and cutting this down to size and then gluing it onto my wood heart. So I kind of did a DIY make your own Valentine's Day fabric using this ribbon. Final touch for the wood heart was adding a small jute bow. Because the palette was a pretty dark brown, yes, the heart was nice and bright, but I did wanna bring in a little bit more color, so I brought in some natural greenery using some floral picks that I had from the Dollar Tree. To incorporate the key, I grabbed a little bit of lace ribbon, thread that through the key, and then wrapped it around the heart so it looked like the key and the lace were what was holding together the heart and the greenery to our wood palette. Next up is another DIY utilizing some heart pillows that I made out of some scrap fabric that I had. And I'll also be going over the details and do how I create my X bows. So first thing is first, we have to create our heart outlines. So I cut these out of some muslin fabric that I kind of just had left over. So I was able to cut out four heart shapes and I really wanted a striped Valentine's Day fabric, but I didn't see it at the Dollar Tree. I didn't see any at Walmart and I didn't wanna go out and spend a lot of money on fabric. So I just created my own. So I grabbed the shade Crimson by Waverly and I just started painting some stripes onto my hearts and I only did the front side of the heart. So I only had to do two, not all four of them. And then I also went in with some leftover paint that was on my brush and kind of went in between the stripes so there weren't any really glaring white stripes on our hearts and then I set these aside to dry. 
Now I'm going to be doing pretty much the exact same thing that I did on the smaller hearts, but these ones measure about three and a half inches across. So they were actually quite a bit easier to do, especially when it came to the stuffing part. So I did about half, usually the top half of the hearts I glued together. And then I went in with my stuffing or filler and started to stuff the hearts. Then as I went along, I added a little bit of hot glue to the sides and continued stuffing them unlike the what I call the lollipop hearts the smaller ones I wanted these to be a little bit puffier and more like a heart pillow so I did add more stuffing to these than I did on the previous ones and then I just went ahead and glued everything shut a little bit easier because I didn't have to put a bamboo skewer into these this wood frame I got from the Dollar Tree. It had a different saying in it. And then I grabbed some wood scrapbooking paper and laid it down on the inside. And that is going to be our base. Next, I went into making an expo. I know that there are lots of different techniques to creating expos, but the reason why I really like them is because it's great for using different scraps of ribbons that you have. I had a whole Ziploc bag just full of kind of one-off ribbon scraps. So that is what I used for almost all of these. And it's really easy. You're just creating an X. I will go in later with a zip tie, but for now I'm just adhering a tiny bit of hot glue to the center and going in with all of these different types of ribbon scraps that I had. Some I even forgot that I had. Then to just make sure that everything is nice and tight together, I went in with a zip tie and wrapped that around the center before pulling it tight. I also added in some of the ribbon that I had used in a previous DIY. It was that really nice red gingham ribbon. And then to cover up the zip tie, I went in with a little bit of raffia. I thought it gave a nice farmhouse touch. This is a little bit different from the bow that I made early on in the video. I used all the same ribbons for that one, but that was a much smaller bow placed on my heart door hanger. This one is a much larger bow. So of course I just didn't have to cut down the ribbon quite as much. And as you saw me do in the previous clip to adhere the hearts down onto our sign, I just used a little bit of hot glue. Next DIY in today's Valentine's Day video is a super easy one, but it's great if you don't have a lot of time on your hands, but you still want to incorporate a little touch of Valentine's Day into your home. Really, you just need two supplies, some raffia and a mason jar. This one I actually got at my friend's baby shower. It was filled with lots of chocolates inside of it. So I wanted to repurpose it. Of course, I kept the chocolates, but I am going to be repurposing the mason jar. It already had some pink and white on it. So I just went over it with the color Ballet Slipper by Waverly Chalk Paint. I really love this pink color for lots of Valentine's Day and spring DIY. DIYs. So I ended up doing two coats of this to completely cover my ball mason jar. To keep with that farmhouse theme, I had to distress the jar just a little bit, give it a little bit more of a weathered look. So I did use a bit of sandpaper and just sanded off the raised section where it said ball and mason. And I also added one of the felt heart stickers from Dollar Tree onto the front of our jar before wrapping around some raffia all the way around the jar and also placing a nice big raffia bow on front. I screwed back on the silver lid and also placed some fresh flowers into our painted mason jar but you could always place in some fake floral picks from the dollar tree too thanks so much for watching until next time keep searching keep creating